Okay. We need you. There's a lot to plan for the wedding. Yeah, just one, one second. You're talking to your mom. About what? As if I didn't know. We have to be careful, Lamb Chop. Mama Pilar is getting very suspicious, and she doesn't find out that we are really witches. In fact, nobody must find out. Oh, heaven will break loose. Be careful. The archers told me she thinks you're a witch. Huh. Honey, I think she's a busybody. <sighs> Be nice. It's my future mother-in-law. Well, then, let me use magic to erase her suspicions. No. We promised Miguel no magic. <sighs> oh, these mortals are impossible. And I have to feed them, too. Look at this. Don't ask, don't tell. Never let it be said there's any magic in this house. Anyone want a sandwich? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tabitha. Uh, no. Oh, you're planning your wedding. What fun. Now, you girls, hang on to all your research, because it might come in very handy when you're planning your next wedding. Uh, no, Tabitha, there's only going to be one. We're getting married for life. Oh, my bad. Is there something wrong with these sandwiches? What's that smell? Floor wax? Uh, have you girls thought about what you want the soprano to sing at the ceremony? <laughs> well, I want Ave Maria, but Kay wants that song from West Side Story. Uh, let's <laughs> ditch the soprano altogether. No. Oh, my God. I just thought of something. Paloma, we can't get married. Uh, the wedding's off. <sighs> Oh, I think we're in for a bout of icky, sicky love and romance, and it's giving me a headache. Marry me, Paloma. I love you, and I want your face to be the first thing I see every morning when I wake up, and the last thing I see every night before I go to sleep. I want to have children with you. Of course, I'll marry you. I'll marry you. <laughs> Who saw that coming? I love you, Paloma. And I love you with all my heart. We'll never have to be apart again. Oh! Oh! How did that happen? What is going on in this house? No one. It's you, isn't it? I know it's you! <laughs> All right, witch, what did you do? Don't turn on me. I have no idea what happened here. Uh, no, no, I don't buy that. What is going on? You've been acting oddly all night. If you're going to insult me, I... I'm just going to go to bed. under the kitchen table screaming Alpha Jack because Noah accidentally sat on a Dora's remote that went to a toy car and now the balloons are popping what is going on? he's back isn't he? that elf is back elf? What? don't do that <sighs> what are you talking about? what elf? it's not good manners to eavesdrop me Never mind that. What are you two talking about? What elf? Uh, if I didn't already know, this has something to do with magic, doesn't it? No. No. Tabitha and I both swore never to use magic again. Isn't that right, Tabitha? Of course. My magical days are over. But I never thought that the day-to-day -day non magical struggle of you mortals would be so fulfilling. Why are 
are you talking about some elf? You're so suspicious. It's just a pet name that I gave to one of Indora's little friends, little Maggie. Oh, I love Maggie. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, Maggie, she's a real little hellion when she wants to be. <laughs> so that's why I call her the little elf. <laughs> Elves are nasty. I thought they were cute, happy little creatures running around making toys all day. <laughs> Listen to him, Ken. The girl thinks that elves really exist. How sweet. What'd she do? Maggie is cute as a button. I'm sure that's why half of the girls are elf. Oh, yeah, she's cute, all right. But she could be a little demon as well. That's why I was just saying to Kay, if little Maggie was here, I would suspect that she was behind this balloon-popping business. <laughs> but she's not here. Oh, good. I'm glad that little elf isn't here. I don't know what you two are talking about. I just thought it might be fun if we walked down to the pier and got some hot cocoa. Oh, that's a great idea. We'll go with you. Wom? Yeah, and uh, maybe the saltwater taffy stand will still be open. Excellent. All right, pumpkin. It's time for you to go to bed. I'll be up in a minute to read you a story, all right? Hmm? Mm -hmm. If you insist, don't blame me if you dream about vampire. <laughs> All right, you evil elf. You're here. I know you're here. All right. Let's get something straight, shall we? You can do whatever you like to anyone else, but you must not do anything to hurt Endora. Or me, for that matter. The whole town of Harmony is fair game, as I'm concerned. But that balloon popping business, that wasn't funny. You cannot risk exposing us as witches in this way. You can turn all the humans into pigs, for all I care. But Endora and I are off limits. Do you hear? Off limits! <laughs> 